Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel, Bruja Tarot. Today I'm doing a reading that I'm calling um, How to Improve Your Love, okay? This can be if uh, you're in a coupled situation, if you're single, uh, maybe you're somewhere in between, if you just want to improve your friendships with other people, okay? So uh, I'm going to be doing this new spread. I'm using um, a new deck, it's called the Magical Dog Tarot. And it's got dogs instead of people in it. So I'm really liking using this deck and I hope you guys like it too. So um, yeah, let's get started. Let me know what you think about this deck, okay? And thank you so much for all your, your likes, your subscribes, your, um, your comments. I really appreciate it all, okay? All right. Spirits, Angels, Guides. Please give us clear messages for Gemini on this. How can they improve their love situation from now until the end of March 2020? Please give us clear messages for Gemini on how they can improve their love. And my risings in Gemini. And I know many people that are Gemini, so I love you guys. Clear messages for Gemini, please. All right, Gemini, let's see what we got. All right, and the first position is how you currently feel about love, what you need to leave behind, what do you have to offer in love, what you don't see coming, and the possible outcome, okay? The bottom of the deck, we have the five of fire and the seven of sky. Okay, this is the seven of swords and the five of wands. All right, let's see what's going on with you, Gemini. And how you currently feel about love is the fire alpha female. This is the queen of wands, okay? So I think you're feeling very confident right now, okay? You're feeling... Uh, you're feeling good about love, okay? Um, you're feeling like you're in your element, you're feeling passionate, you're feeling creative, you're feeling stable, you feel like you have a lot to offer, you're, you're um, also being very generous in love right now, okay? So, and there's a certain warmth about you too um, within regards to love, so that's good, that's good, all right? What you need to leave behind is the sky puppy, okay? Uh, the sky puppy is the page of swords. This is kind of funny that this card comes up in this position because, um, so the sky puppy is an energy of, um, you know, somebody just very young and adventurous. The sky energy is also your element because it's the swords and it's air and that's your element as a Gemini. So... You know, when I see this card, the Sky Puppy, I think about somebody who's just really enthusiastic and ready to try new things and just, you know, maybe a little clumsy at times, okay? So it, this card is in the position of what you need to leave behind, but I love puppies, so I, I wouldn't want to tell you to leave anything behind, right, if this is the energy that you're exhibiting. But, you know, I guess sometimes, um, you know, the Page of Wands can sometimes maybe move a little, a, not the page of wands, the page of swords can move a little too slowly forward or maybe, um, you know, they, like I said, they might be a little bit clumsy or they might not, um, you know, be settled in some way, right? Maybe your energy's all over the place sometimes and maybe that's what you need to leave behind, okay? Also, the Sky Puppy can be very inquisitive and restless. <clears throat> so maybe it's the restless energy that, that you, need, you know, you just need to tone down a little bit, okay? All right, let's see. What do I have to offer in love? The Four of C. It's the Four of Cups, okay? Um, so with this card I'm, and in this position, I'm thinking that you have a lot of emotion to offer in love, okay? Um, you 
are someone who, you know, in terms of what you have to offer, you're willing to express that emotion to the one you're with or, or the one you're looking for, okay? And you're, you're also kind of thinking back, though, on um, other things or other relationships that you've had in your past, okay? Um, you're thinking back on them. You're kind of pondering them, um, you know, and but you also have a lot of emotion attached to that, okay? And also traditionally, this card is about, you know, being offered something, but you not being happy with what's being offered, okay? So I think that that is what you're bringing into love right now, kind of like this disappointment of not being happy with what you're being offered, okay? You're thinking about past possibilities or past options that you had, and so this is the energy that you're bringing into love right now, just kind of feeling disappointed with what's being offered to you, okay? What you don't see coming is the two of fire, okay? The two of wands. Um, you know, this is about needing to make a choice. You may not see that coming. Um, you also might not see coming that, you know, whoever you're involved with or whoever you might be involved with, you know, has a strong interest in you, okay? That you have a strong interest in them, um, a very passionate interest, okay? And what you don't see coming is that you, you're going to need to, you know, see how this doggy's on a path and he needs to choose which way he's going to go. Um, you don't see coming that you need to make this choice, okay? Um, perhaps you've already made this choice, um, but it, you will have to choose a path one way or another, which, which direction you want to go in. Okay. Now this could be, you know, it could be with, in terms of, certainly in terms of people or in terms of, uh, creative ideas you might be thinking about in terms of, you know, a project that you're working on or, you know, uh, groups that you're involved with in your life. It could be something creative. It could be something passionate that you're dealing with in your own life. Okay. This could also be a new opportunity though, that you don't see coming a new opportunity coming your way. Also, maybe a new aspiration that you have. Okay. Um, it also could be about, um, you know, just um, like I said about creative opportunities and maybe you're inspired by something new and what you don't see coming is that a new opportunity is going to present itself to you. And it could also mean that because this is coming towards you, um, you're probably going to have to take a moment of pause how this dog is doing here. You're going to take a moment of pause to decide and contemplate and really think about what what your next step should be. Okay. All right. The possible outcome is the two of earth. Okay. Uh, the two of earth is the two of pentacles. This is another card about making decisions. Okay. So you have two twos on the table here. It's about choices that need to be made, decisions that need to be made. Um, the two of pentacles here though is in the position of the possible outcome. So this is more about trying to remain stable, trying to remain balanced. Um, you know, making sure that you're juggling everything perfectly in order to, to maintain a sense of balance, okay? So this is in your possible outcome here, okay? So basically, um, I think what this is saying is if you kind of, um, you know, settle the, the restlessness you might have a little bit, realize that, you know, you're kind of feeling disappointed with what's being offered to you in love and just kind of take a moment to contemplate, you know, any opportunities that are being presented to you or any new aspirations that you might have, okay, is going to lead you to the sense of, of balancing things out for you, okay? All right. All right, Gemini, let's get three cards of advice for you. All right. Please get
give us three cards of advice for Gemini on this. How can they improve their love spread? Okay. Three cards of advice, please, for Gemini. On how they can improve their love. All right, Gemini, let's get three cards here for you. Subscri please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I appreciate it. All right, let's see. Five of Sky. Six of Earth. And the Earth Puppy. You're just, you want to be a puppy. You want to be a puppy, Gemini. All right, so let's see here. I will do an Oracle card at the end, so um, just to let you know. All right, so the Five of Sky, the Six of Earth, and the Earth Puppy. Okay, so the Five of Sky is the Five of Cups. This is generally walking away from something that's emotionally unfulfilling, okay? The Six of Earth is about... Um, you know, kind of sharing with others. In this particular card, you know, uh, the dogs are sharing the the um, the play toys, okay? One of the dogs has brought them and is sharing them with others, okay? And then you have the earth puppy. The earth puppy is the page of pentacles. This is somebody who has, you know, a new offer, um, a new offer that is very stable, okay? But it's also that puppy energy. So it's that energy of somebody very adventurous and young and new, okay? So I think what this is saying here is that you definitely want to retain that puppy energy, okay, of being adventurous and curious and all of that. But you want to offer some stability with that, okay? So... I think what this is saying is that you want to move away from things that are emotionally unfulfilling for you, okay? You want to make share make sure you you share your your resources and your wealth and everything you have to offer, okay, with others, have there be an equal give and take in your life, okay? And that that's going to put you in this energy of where you can still retain that, you know, your puppiness, okay? And, but you're going to be more stable in it. And I think that's also going to show you that you're going to be more stable as a possible outcome. Okay. All right, Gemini. Cool. I understand wanting to maintain your puppy energy. You know, I get it. All right. So let's see here. Give us one card as a final message for Gemini on what they need to hear for their highest good. Spirits, angels, guys, please give us one card of advice for Gemini on what they need to hear on their highest good. All right, I'm going to pull it from the middle. Let's see what we got. That Andean cross. Ooh, okay. I don't think I've gotten this one before, but I love the gold colors in here. It's so pretty. Okay. All right, let me see what the book has to say. All right, the essence. The Andean cross represents the cosmology of the shaman and depicts the four cardinal directions, the upper and lower worlds, and the steps to reach these realms. The hole in the center is a gateway to interdimensional travel, the proverbial eye of the needle we can all go through to experience higher states of awareness and wisdom and to break free of linear time. The invitation, the Andean cross announces the start to a great journey. It's time to raise your, your gaze from the mundane day-to-day -to, -day to that which, until now, has seemed beyond your grasp. Allow new wisdom to guide you and stop trying to make sense of it all before you respond with a resounding yes. I guess this is saying that you're on your way to on a new journey, okay? And I think this is what this card is saying here. Also, how the fire element ties into the colors here, okay? Um, that you're about to embark on a new, new journey here, and this is what you don't see coming, okay? And I also see the coloring of this puppy here that correlates with this, okay? You're stepping into a new journey here, and I think this new journey is going to be, um, it's going to be stable for you, but it's going to be very exciting and very passionate at the same time. All right, Gemini. Okie doke. That's your reading for today. Thanks for um, watching. 
Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Drop me a doggy emo emoji. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.